All right, so we've got a couple requests to sort of do a walk around to the farm and show everything that we have. Uh, it's kind of gross, honestly, I think. Um, so bear with us. We're obviously, you know, working through everything, but just to show everyone uh, where we started, we're going to walk around. All right. All right, so this building right here is, I believe, where they kept cows when they were cleaning the barn. So they would let them out of the barn into this area that we're going to be going into next. And then that would be a shelter that they would have while they're cleaning the barn. Um, this right here is the milk house, and the barn behind it, and the silo and the silo room that, you know, is attached to the barn. So that's where the silage would come out of the silo and then they would, you know, mix it up and feed it to the cows. We believe that underneath all this grass and stuff, it's actually manure. So that's... I don't recognize those things. There's always new things that we notice every time we walk around. But yeah, so we think that there's, um, there's concrete underneath all the sort of grass that we're... I mean, this is concrete here, but back over by the silos, there's a lot of... Uh, grass and stuff and we think that it's just manure sitting on top of concrete. Yeah, so that's that building that the cows would hang out in when they're cleaning the barn. And it looks like, you know, there used to be four silos and they took one down. Um, that room right there, or that building, lean-to building, is where they used to mix the feed. So they, there's a conveyor that comes out there and it would um, bring all the feed from up into those silos and then dump it into a mixer and then they'd probably add dry hay and then feed it to the cows. And these bunkers right here are things that the cows would eat out of. The dogs love walking around here because, you know, dogs and poop. <laughs> yeah, they love getting covered in shit and eating it. <laughs> um, this is just, you know, an addition onto the barn. It's a pole barn. Um, but inside we'll see it's all high stall stanchion barn. Well, tie stall or stanchion, I'm not sure what they have. It's all gone, but I assumed it was tie stall. And this is another, like, holding area back here where they would just kind of hang out if it was raining. And also, I think that the there's a lagoon type thing underneath here, so they would shove all the poop from the cement yard into back into there, and you can kind of see that there's um kind of like slats. We can go closer, but like where the poop would fall into that and then it would be pumped or something into the slurry silo, which slurry silo is just where poop is kept before they put it on the field. I guess you can't really see down in there. But. Come on guys, let's go. Uh, so this is not a door, this is a rug. you can see much in here. We don't have the electricity on yet, but these back pens here are probably the bull pens, so that's where the bulls would hang out. Um, the barn cleaner, it's a really big barn cleaner because it's a really big barn. Um, and I'm not exactly sure how this worked, but I would, I'm guessing that it's probably hollow under there. Maybe, I don't know. But the poop is you know, it would go down and then it would go out into that silo that I was telling you about slurry silo. Alright, so you can see where the stanchions were pulled out of the stalls here. This is where the cows would go, you know, into their stanchion or, or tie stall. Um, there's still some cow mattresses left here. It's essentially like chopped up rubber inside those sack things. Um, yeah, it's a really long barn, so in total it's like over 250 feet, I think, including the old barn and the si and the pole barns. You can see there's a lot of swallows that live here. Um, they've made nests in pretty much every building. Do you want to go over here? Sure. So here's the, this is the, the room that we saw from the outside. Um, the silage unloading room. 
And so you can see the conveyor. So that's the far silo, and then here's the middle one. And that other one is over there. Um, so yeah, they would. There's silo and motors that would blow it into these, this um, elevator here, and then it would go out there. Okay, I kind of want to go up and show them inside the. Okay. Um. So there's a. One of these silos is actually still filled with uh, stuff, or at least it was, and then the top blew off. So, oh Jesus, this is messy, but I don't know if you can see up here. So this is inside the silo. All right. So this is up into the silo. Here's the top where the top blew off. Um, this is like the unloader thing. This curved stuff is the what fell in. And then you can see that what essentially, like all the silage turned into dirt. Um, so I don't know, this is maybe, you can kind of see down, maybe like 30 or 40 feet in the air. Anyway, kind of cool. So this is where the actual lofted barn starts. You can see you yeah, know, these right. these are what holds up the the old barn and then the whole barn doesn't have those. You can see. Um, so it's about a hundred feet from here to the very front. Um, lots of junk that we gotta clean up. And I don't know what they were doing here, but they had put in some sort of insulated wall. I think they were um, like breeding their pigs to give birth in the winter time. And so then they had them in here. So it was like warmer or something, but I'm not sure. Because, you know, after they, whoever stopped doing cows, however long ago, they decided, I think maybe the next owners to do pigs. So I think that's what was in here last. Um, the milk house is in really kind of nasty shape. I think they had pigs in the milk house too. We put one of our goats in here really temporarily and gave him some weeds to chew on. He didn't really eat much, but yeah, they had looks like four different pens for pigs in here. So, kind of nasty. Yeah, it smells pretty awful. Yeah, kind of smells good. now. So we're gonna go up into the loft. We have to watch our step, because we don't want to fall through it. So it's a big barn, um, and needs a little help. These are all holes in the roof where uh, the shingles blew off and now it's rotted through. So that's part of the reason that we need to get uh, a roofing crew in here quickly. Um, we actually, uh, we've done a couple roofs. We've done, I've done two houses and two garages with Mitchell and I think you did a barn once, right? Well, I've, yeah, I've done lots of different roof projects, but this one's a little bit too much for us, especially just the two of us. I think we're going to probably hire someone to do this. Yeah, so I, I feel like it would take us a couple weeks, and it's also probably more dangerous than we are interested in just because it's so steep for the majority of the roof that we'd have to do almost the entire thing on roof jacks. So There it is. And then there's two entrances off to the side here. I think we're gonna end up putting a new floor in the barn too. And this is our backyard.
Uh, we don't actually own any of this back here. The property line ends kind of just after the park. We're hoping to buy it, so we'll see. Oh, and then this is where the addition is. You can see that it's actually the wood's kind of rotting out because they did a bad job on it, but. Yeah, I don't know if we talked about the actual lofted part of the barn is also also has an addition on it. So they built the stuff like, you know, this way, however many years ago. The first, yeah, that was the first building. And then they did this addition. And then they built the pole barn onto it. And then I believe they built an addition onto the pole barn. So I think this whole thing is four separate, you know, building whatever sections <laughs> sections but they're all connected um then there's another door out right here i don't know if that opens super easily but this looks back over the little pole barn stretching back there's a that grain bin we emptied over there 